This video is a tutorial for the double cross single rainbow loom bracelet and I'm going to show you how to make the one on the left. The cool thing about this bracelet is that you can wear it two different ways. You can wear it so that the black bands are in the center and the rainbow colored bands are on the sides or you can turn it so that the rainbow colors are in the center and the black on the sides like this. This is what you'll need. A rainbow loom, 21 rainbow colored bands of which three red orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink, 23 black bands, a hook, and a C or an S clip. Make sure that the three rows of your loom are offset, that the center row is closest to you, and that the opening of the pins is facing away from you. And we're going to start making this bracelet on the first four pins of your loom. So grab your first band, and this is uh, in the color black, and you want to put this band between the first two pins on the middle row and make sure you twist it so that it's in the shape of an eight like this. Then we're going to grab our second band, which is a colored band. So grab the first color of the rainbow. This is red. And you're going to add this band between the first pins on the left and the right row. And you don't have to worry about uh, twisting this one. From now on, you don't have to twist any bands anymore. So then you grab a new black band and you put it above the band that you just added, the black band. And then you put a new colored band above the colored band, like this. It's very easy. Now you just grab your hook, and with your hook you grab the bottom band on every pin, and it does not matter um, which pin you start and in which order you do it. Once you have the bottom band of a pin, you move it up and over the pin to the middle of this whole cross, like this. Again, it doesn't matter in which order you do this, as long as you do all four pins. Then you want to push it down and make room for the next layer. First, you're going to add a black band on the first two pins of the middle row, like this, and then a colored band on the first pins on the left and the right row, like that. Then you grab your hook again, and with your hook, you grab the bottom band on every single pin, and you move it up and over the pin to the center of the cross. Then you push it down, you grab a new black band, and you put it above your previous black band, and a new colored band, and you put it on top of the previous colored bands. And then again, you grab the bottom bands with your hook, and you move them up and over your pins. And that's it. <laughs> There's actually not much to it. Um, you just continue adding a black and a colored band. Then you grab the bottom band on every pin with your hook and you move it up and over. Again, it doesn't matter in which order you do it as long as you do every single bottom band on every single of the four pins. Once your uh, bracelet starts getting a little longer, you can kind of pull it out like this to the side so that it has some uh, room to grow. And then you just continue um, making your bracelet. So you first add your black band and then the color band. Now that order is important. So first black and then color. And then you just grab the bottom band on every single pin and you move them up and over the pins to the center of the cross. And now I'm going to fast forward this footage. Make sure you just pause this video and play it again once you are finished with your bracelet and then I will show you how to finish off the bracelet so you can wear it around your wrist. You can use the amount of bands that I suggested in the beginning of the video or you can use more or less bands depending on the size of your wrist. Anyway, once you're done, you want to make sure that you always end on a black band. And instead of adding another colored band, you just add the black band and then you loop over the bottom black bands. And what, once you've done that, you grab all four bands of all the pins and you move them onto your hook. And you wanna make sure that they stay on your pin. Um, and then you put your hook inside of your pin and then it gets on your hook. If it falls off of your pin, there's a chance that your bracelet will fall apart. And so you wanna be careful about that. Once all four bands are on your hook, you grab a black band, you put it on the outer end of your hook and you pull it through all the bands that were on your hook. And that way you can now add your C or your S clip onto that single black band that is folded double so it's all attached. And then um, you can just 
clip on the C or your S clip on the outer end of your bracelet and that's it <laughs> it's really simple to make it's super fast it's super fun you can do it in so many different colors and again you can wear it on both sides you can wear it with the rainbow colors in the center or you can wear it with the black color in the center whichever one you like best and as you can see it looks good all around your whole wrist so i hope you like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye